Welcome to MLB The Show 16 on Squad Gaming. Today, we are creating our Road to the Show character, Jordan Anderson, a kid out of Texas, moved to the Midwest to go to a prep school and play high school baseball. A very talented prospect. Most of the top colleges want him to sign with their program. But instead, Jordan Anderson is trying out today for the Bowman's Scout Day to see where he would be able to get drafted after the scouts, you know, see what he can do on the field as we show you in a little bit. After I show you this creation, um, when I was making this guy, I didn't really know what I was going to go for. I was just kind of making some guy that I felt like resembled some sort of an MLB kind of player. And I went with the full beard, you know, the eye black, all those things, uh, three-fourths quarter sleeves. Um, which are actually the compression sleeves. Those are actually, I think, look pretty sweet on some of the players in MLB. The way that they wear it, that goes along with their jersey. I think it looks pretty cool. That's kind of why I use that. And also, I didn't really know what to go with for these uh, uh, batting stance. If you guys have any suggestions of a good batting stance in the comments, let me know. Because honestly, whenever I even do a road to the show on my own, it's hard to figure out for me what kind of batting stance I want to use best. But I did, did decide to go with one of those all-star stances. Because I felt like it was a decent one where I could swing and do my strides and stuff with. But I was just showing the creation. You saw all of it in the background as I'm talking over it. Just Jordan Anderson. He's about what is a six foot three. He's a shortstop, and I'm hoping he can be a very good player. He's a switch hitter as well, and I really like to have switch hitters. That's why I made him a switch hitter. I love when I'm playing like Diamond Dynasty or something. But it's a switch hitter because they can hit against any pitcher you throw at them. So that's why I made this guy, Jordan Anderson, a switch hitter. So hopefully he can do big things for us. And we'll see where he gets drafted or if he does get drafted. Maybe I'll select the team. We'll have to find out. You guys let me know in the comment sections which one you want me to do. But by the way, I may be bringing out... Uh, the first two showcase games and the draft right after this one. We'll have to see how this goes. But we're at the Bowman Scout Day today. And if you guys have not played MLB, the show 16, you go through a little hitting evaluation in front of the scouts and they judge you on that. And you go through a fielding evaluation. But first, you'll see him run the 60-yard dash, I believe it is. Um, right after he gets done stretching, I guess. You'll see him run it. And it's kind of, I wish they would have made it so you could have ran that yourself. Like, in the old, I don't know if you guys even remember some of the old Madden games where you used to have to just, or no, NCAA football games, where you used to have to just keep tapping X. That's as fast as he went. But apparently, Jordan Anderson thought he ran it pretty well because he's pretty excited after he ran that one. They clocked him at whatever time it was. You do see at the end of the video, but I can't quite remember. But let's get into the hitting evaluation. I made my guy when they give you the bars to start the game Jordan Anderson I gave him about three or four bars in contact and another bar I added to fielding so I gave him a total of four bars in fielding and four in contact I do believe and I can't remember what I did with the last one I think I put it on the speed but uh, his contact is only 45 against both sides I've improved up to 45 so honestly his contact as powers 15 against both is not too good so that's maybe why this hitting evaluation did not go as but as much as I want, would have wanted it to. Because you'll see him sometimes, he's just kind of popping balls up. And I feel like I have good timing too. But it's also hard again, again, to hit against these pitchers who are throwing like 55 mile, mile an hour BP after I'm done playing like a Diamond Dynasty game where the pitchers were throwing like 90 and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to adjust. But I tried my best as you see right there, he just fouled one off. It's hard to adjust to it, but he does get some good hits in here, and I hope I did enough where the scouts saw that I have potential to be a good hitter. That's all I want them to see. I don't expect myself to be a very good hitter with Jordan Anderson right away. I expect him to grow into a good hitter and maybe get the job done as he gets towards the majors and stuff. And also, for the difficulty I'm playing on, I have it on Dynamic, the one that progresses your bar as you go, but I have not played a whole lot of the show um, consistently, so I think right now it's on like almost a veteran in the middle of rookie when I'm hitting, so they'll have to progress as we go along with the series, so I do apologize if that bothers you guys. If it does, I can try to change it, but you guys have, just have to let me know. If not, you'll just give me a little bit into the show, road to the show, where I'll advance to the bar and then it'll adjust where it's comfortable for me, for me where I get hit and where I also get out a lot and it'll just have a nice balance hopefully but I have to wait till I get to that spot for me to do that but we are in the field now making these plays where I left I don't I expect him to be a pretty good field go, fielder I just can't stand when because I play on classic I like to make my players in the field play to their attributes you'll see it in my Dodgers franchise whenever the operation sports rosters come out I'm not quite sure when they're coming out any time would be great and I'll be able to start my Dodgers franchise as the Dodgers are 2 0 right now in real life pretty exciting start for them but yeah once those come out I'll be able to use it but I play on classic with my franchise and road to the show because I like their attributes to resemble how they play on the field 
So it's kind of it's kind of annoying when you have your Road to the Show character and you're just trying to make an easy play and he throws it way over the first baseman's head or something like that. But he has a pretty good day in the field today when through the evaluation as you see that bar going way more into the green as we're turning the double plays with the second baseman. And I don't know. I think he's. I think he could be a very good fielder, but that's not really what I'm gonna be focused on. As most people are not focused on that. Look at this play. Apparently, I didn't touch second base. Thought I might have. I clicked the touch second base, but instead he just went at the first. But I guess this got selected because the bar went up. Um, but yeah, he's having a good day in the field. So I hope he can keep doing well. As you see me run the complete opposite way. <laughs> that one was bad. I was kind of expecting it to already change that the second baseman flips it to me, and I don't know. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to it as I just ran away from the ball and went right to second base. But now we're just going to keep turning the double plays. And I think I'm going to enter the draft with Jordan Anderson, 18-year-old, coming out of high school. You know those 18-year-olds like that signing bonus. I would like that signing bonus if I was an 18-year-old going into the pros. I mean, we'll have to see where he gets drafted, whether it's middle rounds or early rounds. Or maybe I'm just a bust because you saw that kind of fielding and the hitting that I had done. Maybe I'm just not good and I should go to college. We'll have to see after that whether I sign with the team if I do get drafted or not. you have to wait and find out. But like I said, I should have that episode up maybe a few hours after this one. I'm not quite sure yet. If I do, I'll still have a Madden, a Madden franchise video tomorrow for those of you that are looking for that one. But not too bad in the fielding, as you will see at the end of this. And once he's done talking to all these scouts, that has to be pretty nerve-wracking for this 18-year-old to go out in front of all those scouts, all the Major League Baseball scouts just looking at him, fielding the only one out there and hitting the one, only one out there. But at the end of the day, he played very well and really got his potential very high up. They look at him as an above-average potential. So I think Jordan Anderson could be very good, but we have to find out in the showcase games.